Hi and welcome to the Studio Marco Primo. Today we decide if you should buy the Tamron Tap-In console or not. I recently bought the 24 to 70 and the 70 to 200 f2.8 G2 Tamron lenses. Wanting to get the best results out of my investment, I was wondering if the tapping console would make a big difference or not. At that price, you would expect those lenses to be sharp and well adjusted. But then, the lens makers can't account for all the camera bodies out there. I was accepting a small drop in quality from the original Canon lenses, but I still hope for the best quality. First, what is the Tamron Tap-In Console? The Tap-In Console is a USB unit made to connect to the Tamron lenses and do special adjustments and firmware updates. Once connected to a computer, you can access the adjustments by using the software available on Tamron's website. It's not included in the box. You get the details of your lens, the firmware update button, focus adjustments, focus limiter, and some settings found nowhere else like the VC mode priorities. If I return to the focus adjustments, you can see that I haven't done much modifications to my 70 to 200 mm This means Cameron did an amazing job setting up the lens or it was an accident that what they did matched my camera. You see, I have a limited budget and got the Canon T6S, which I consider a tiny step before getting to pro cameras. That's what I could afford at the time and it's better than many others I owned. Thing is, the T6S is a crop sensor camera, which means the sensor will grab a small portion of the image translated by the lens compared to a full-frame camera. Why should that be relevant? Most high-end lens are created for full-frame camera, and it's not rare that they render poor quality on crop sensors. The other thing is, most pro cameras have focus micro adjustments which the T-Series don't have. So having a lens that can adjust outside of the camera isn't a bad idea. But of course, with so little done to the lens, it wouldn't really be worth it to buy the tap-in console. When I got to test the accuracy of my 24 to 70, I realized that it was an entirely different story. I can't say if these are the typical numbers we should get if Tamron missed the adjustments on a late Friday afternoon or it's my crappy T6S, but the tap-in console made this lens a lot more accurate. I already had the lens for a couple of weeks and I didn't have the time to spot check the accuracy yet. But in some occasions, I would miss focus on my dog when trying to aim to the closest eye. At first, I just thought that I or M was moving too much. When doing some portraits, I did go to f3.2 or higher just to be safe. So when I got down to adjust the lens with the tap-in console, I was glad that those misses weren't my fault and that I can now use the lens with more confidence. Of course, those miss focus are more prone to happen if you shoot at f2.8 and close to your subject. But making the f2.8 focus more accurate automatically makes better focus on smaller aperture. I tried the firmware button a few times, but did not get any updates yet. Firmwares are mostly done to correct problems anyway, so I don't really mind. So do you need the Tamron Tap-In console? Only you can tell. 
if you bought some new compatible Tamron lenses that are not 100% accurate, then yes, if you have doubts, take the time to test them. Take a picture at the lowest aperture of the lens, at different distances, and at different focal length, with a tripod and enough light to avoid any camera shakes. Start with the live view focus if you have it on your camera because it uses a different focus technology based on what a sensor sees. Then one picture with the autofocus button. If the results are different enough to bother you, then buy the tap-in console. If everything is fine for you, save the money for some filters or any other photo tools. I hope this video helped you. Please leave any questions or stories of your own about MissFocus in the comments. Don't forget to subscribe and share this video.